Hello and welcome to my sculpting channel in a little bit more. I have so many people asking me which printer can I get right now, it's Christmas season, take advantage of Black Friday and discounts, so which printer can I get? I'm gonna talk about the resin tray printer and the 3D printer with filament that uh, I believe if you have been following my channel, I use a resin tray printer. I'm going to talk about the best printer that I think they're good for you, more if you're starting 3D printing, so let's start. Nana Cubic, this brand probably you have heard of it, has been in the market for a while. I don't own any other printer, but I do own their curing and watching station. I have a review that I'm going to put on the description if you want to see that but for sure they have really good printers the printer that i want to recommend isn't the cheaper end it's actually the cheapest on this list and is the anacubit photon mono x6ks oh wow yeah they have a long name so this printer is really really simple but it does the job it has great quality i've seen people talking about how they had a really good experience even better than a newer printer from Anacubic so that's why I'm recommending this one so from this same brand on the filament side I, I have never owned a filament printer but I have always through the years heard good things about the Cobra series so now I want to recommend the Anacubic Cobra 3 combo because it comes with the printer and it comes with this kit that you can put different types of filament, different colors, so you can print your piece with different colors, which is something that is just amazing. It looks pretty much like if you have your toy factory, you cannot even notice the difference. It's just amazing. Next brand that I want to talk about is from Creality. Creality is the brand where I had my first resin tray printer, so I really trust them. I really know that they make amazing products. The one that I want to recommend is Halot Mage S14K. Use 14K, that's an amazing resolution and is a really fast printer. The only downside with this printer is that it kind of keeps the same technology. And no, this is a really good one. But what I'm talking about the same technology is that it kind of looks the same than my hallowed one that is 2K. And basically the it looks the same, the VAT, even if it is bigger, better uh, design. It is the same thing, it just stay there on the screen. With the top, the VAT, you have to unscrew everything to be able to take the VAT and uh, to clean it or remove your, your piece. So that could be really, really annoying and uh, a lot of waste of time so but it's still it's still a really good printer you may even think that um, I should have got this printer than the other one that I got that I'm gonna talk in a moment but this one is also new it came out like a month ago or two I think it's an amazing printer something that I really really like about this printer is that it comes with a air purifier if you don't know liquid resin is toxic so all the fumes and everything all the resin tray printer they do have a small filter that's supposed to protect you but it's not the same this is an actual uh, air purifier that will protect your health so just because of that this printer should be on the top of the list I have to say that depending on your printer you can also buy purifier filter but uh, usually like $200 so being that it already comes with the with the printer and it has a really good deal right now i think that could be a good option so now from creality we have the ender 3v3 this is a filament printer this one you can just see it comparing to other printers that is really solid i heard from a lot of people that just the design the nozzle and everything that is printing on the top is so stable that um you don't have fails to be honest, being on the 3D printing the world, you're always gonna have failed no, no matter which printer you have. If as a user you don't really do certain things, it's not gonna work. So actually a video that is coming soon, I'm gonna talk about my walkthrough of how I print from start to finish to try to help some people out there. So if you're new, wait for that, that video. But for sure this one for the price, I think it's great for beginners. So now let's go to a Lego. A Lego is actually the printer that I have and is the Saturn IV Ultra. And it's kind of funny that I completely went to a rabbit hole between 
looking for printers and things like that. And I saw a lot of people that they hated this version, the Saturn 4 Ultra. They, they say that the Saturn 3 Ultra was way better. They didn't have any problems. To be honest, I haven't used all the potential of this printer, but for me at least it has print. I had had some fails now and there. If you want to see the unboxing and everything about this printer, you can see it on a video that I did that I'm going to put in the description. You can also see how big is the size of the sculpture that can print. But for me, I just love it. I love it that the design, just the bed, you just press a press like a clip uh, that it has. You just press it down. That sometimes a little bit hard, but uh, you can remove the bed so easy only with one hand. The vat also moves, making it faster to print in out of level. So I cannot complain about this printer so far. I'm liking it. But like I mentioned before, I haven't used it that much. So from my LEGO 2, one of the printers that I'm so, so, so excited. And it's also kind of funny that, uh, that the filament one is the Neptune 4 Max. That's the newest, but also I saw so many people saying that that's a bad printer, that they have so many problems, and that they prefer their previous version, the Neptune 3 Max. And I have to say that, well, almost the same thing with the Saturn that I have. You have a lot of people that like it, a lot of people that don't. But over here, I decided, and I'm excited, that I just took advantage of the price from Black Friday, and I ordered the Neptune 3 Max. I ordered the 3 Max, no, really because all the bad things that they were saying about the 4, but I did it because of the size. It can print a little bit um, larger, taller than the Neptune 4. If this printer is huge, supposed to be huge. So the other ones, that I, all the other ones that I was talking about are printers, no matter if it is filament or resin, that the size is not really that big. You can always manage, you can always cut your piece and try to print in multiple parts. I hate that. First of all, because a tiny mistake, the pieces won't fit together. Or if you glue them, maybe you, you will see the separation. It's just, it could be done, but it's a lot of work and I try to use my time the, the best possible way. So this one, just to be able to print helmet and just think that it's supposed to be really big. For sure I'm gonna do the unboxing when I get it. Hopefully it will be in a week or two here. I'm just excited. It's, I really recommend if you want to be able to do small things, but at the same time something huge, definitely that will be your printer. I mean, I haven't even <laughs> uh, worked on it, but I'm so, so excited. Uh, just remember, of course, you're not gonna be able to do like tabletop figures. I mean, not really tiny. You can make maybe, uh, depend on the detail that you want. For that, the resin is better. Do you remember I haven't talked about resin or filament? I will really recommend to go to these pages and look through. I'm gonna put in the description Amazon links. They are affiliates, but I will really recommend to go to the actual web page of these companies and explore and see which offer they have. This is all the printer. Please let me know if you have any of these ones. Maybe you hate them. Please, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to know if that's the case. But um, enjoy 3D printing, enjoy art, and see you next time.